For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today we're going to be going over split clips, added to timelines, and the preset menu. Now, if you have not seen my original open shot tutorial video, be sure to check that out in the description area below. So, with all the things that we've learned from the previous tutorials, you've kind of got a great idea on how to quickly create an entire video movie from beginning to end. And now we're going to look at some of the, I guess, additional features that OpenShot has that will allow you to do more and also have some, I guess, more shortcuts to do things a lot quicker. Okay. And let's go ahead and make this full screen. And this is a new version of OpenShot. If uh, you have not seen my original video, this is actually version 2.4.0. And I will say so far, I am thoroughly impressed. And who knows, I might be using this as my main video editor versus uh, Kaden Live uh, because there's been so many improvements and it makes things a lot easier. So getting into it, let's start with split clips. And if you're wondering what that is, it allows you to split the clip before you actually put it in your timeline, which uh, kind of makes sense when you actually see what I'm saying. So let's take this clip for example, okay? Now here's a cool thing. If you right click on your mouse, you'll notice that there's additional features that you can use, one of which is split clip. But here, you can actually preview the file right here before you even put it inside your timeline, which is awesome. Okay, so for example, say that I did want to only put parts of this video, okay? I didn't want to put the whole three minute clip or however long, I don't think it's three minute, but you didn't want to put this whole clip inside the actual timeline. You only want portions of it, okay? Now, you can do that by just bringing this in here and then you could split it right here, okay, using the razor tool, okay, but there's an easier way to do it if you didn't want to do it that way and you wanted to do it before you even put it in here. So all you would do, as I mentioned, right click, split clip, and here's the cool thing. You could tell where you want the clip to start. Let's say I wanted to start here, okay, just say start, that's the start of my clip, and then where you want it to end. Let's say I want it to end right there, okay? And then you can actually name this too. So I'm going to say, call this the short clip, okay? Okay, then you create. And you'll notice now you have a brand new clip right there. Okay, so if you right click, you can preview it. Press play. And then what you'll notice is it's actually a shorter version of this. So if I bring it down to my timeline, you see? And then here's the original. You see the big difference there, right? So let's go ahead and try out this new clip. See, so it's a lot shorter than the original, okay? But where this is really helpful is, you know, say for example that you did bring in your original clip, right? And then you made edits, you know, using the razor tool. But, you know, if you decided you only wanted portions of it and you deleted this entire thing, it would be gone, you know. Here, it allows you to make different clips of the same video so that you can reuse it whenever you want. So I think that's a very powerful feature, especially if you're the type of person who likes to make a lot of changes. You like to try different things with your clips. And so that way you can save the best parts of the clips that you want and reuse it however you want. So that is an awesome feature. Another thing that you can do is say you wanted to add all your clips at one time. Okay, you could do that by just holding it down and pressing shift. And you could select all at once right there. Or you could use the control and select the ones that you want. Okay, so I'm going to add all of these at the same time except for this one. And I want to show you this feature. Right click on your mouse, add to timeline. So here it will add all these clips in this order. And what's cool about it is you can control where it starts, you can have different transition effects all in one shot. So let's make this real easy. So let's say, if, let's do a fade in on this second clip that's coming in. This one, there's a zoom feature. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And then this final one, this image, let's make it a circle 
out to in, in to out, okay? So let's go ahead and create, okay? Oops, sorry, let me do that again. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. So let's try that again. And you could put on different tracks as well. So let's go ahead and fade in. Let's do fade in, fade out. Zoom in and then circle in and out and say, okay. And see now it imported all those clips all at once. And then if you actually press play, you'll notice that the transitions are put in there. Okay. And so it did all of that in just a few, you know, keystrokes. So even if I go here, so see how easy that is. And it has all the transitions that you just chose. See, check it out. Very quick and seamless. I, I think that's an awesome feature. Okay. So let me go ahead and delete all this. And you could actually just delete this track if you want. Okay, so, or you could do undo. But what if you only wanted the clips to go in a certain order? Okay, you could do that as well. If you add the timeline and see right here, it's up and down. So say, for example, you wanted this image to go first, you could just move it up. See? And like I said, you could also change at different times that it starts, it ends. So this is really quick and easy. And I like that they have this feature. And so if you want to quickly create a whole, you know, a movie or actual video, and then you already know that it's going to be a very simple transitions in between, then this makes it really easy. You know, where you can just string a whole bunch of clips together and then put all the different transitions all at once. Okay. Awesome tool right there. Okay. So the final thing I want to talk about today is the preset menus. Okay. And so... Let me show you what that is. So let's go ahead and take one clip here. And then we'll also take another clip here. Okay, so what it is, is it has a lot of preset features on there built in already. Okay, so if you right click, you see that there's all these additional features, right? So let me press play real quick. So there's all these features that are already built in so that you don't actually have to create them, which is awesome. So for example, if you wanted to uh, fade in and out, you could do entire clip, fade in and out, okay? So we could do, let's fade in and out fast. If you notice, check it out. And then it'll start fading out at the end right here, see? And so what it did was it added some keyframing right here uh, where it put the effect in, which is awesome. Okay, and you can obviously adjust these keyframes down here by moving that little green uh, portion right there where the actual effect started, okay? And then you could also remove the effects. You know, you could also undo that as well. So if you didn't like something, you could just undo right there, okay? Now, uh, other things you could do, so you saw the fade in effect. You could do alignment. You could do an animation. So let's go ahead and try this one. Let's do a random animation, okay? Or how about zoom? A lot of people like zoom. So let's go ahead and do a 50% to 100, okay? So let's see how that looks. So it is zoom out as it goes. But see, once again, it's using keyframing where that green parts are to do the effect. So that is really awesome. And then you can also do rotate. You could do a rotate 90 degrees. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be it's gonna make you a little dizzy, but see right there. Yeah, so yeah, not my favorite effect to do in a video, but it probably has its uh, purposes to do that. No rotation. Okay, and see at any point in time you could always you know take those effects out or add something else. Okay, so you could also do different layout. Okay, so meaning that they already have some preset layout. See where your video can show so 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 it co you can combine a whole bunch of different effects all at the same time so there you go sweet and you can see what I mean right there so you could go here uh, you could also do let's go ahead and let's make this faster okay let's do two times okay well, let's let's do it to this one. I wanted to do this one. 
So this is great if you have a video where you kind of want to speed up time. Okay. So let's see how that looks. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you could do what you could do here is you could actually remove the audio and do that speed up. So, you know, there, a lot of people like to do these time lapse. So that's basically what that is. Okay. So let's undo all that. Okay. And then let me see if there's anything. Volume. You could change the volume level. Um, you could also separate the audio. I think I've shown that before. And the transform feature, I've shown that before where you have manual controls on how the size of the video looks. Okay, so if I were to put this above this, right? And then I could say transform. See, you could adjust the, uh, the size of it, you know, however you want. And so it'll do like some keyframing. Okay, so at that point, right there, it'll just get bigger. See, it'll go back down. So let's see what else you could do. Wow. Those are the main things and all the properties are actually right here when you click on a clip. And as you can see here, it's extremely powerful. And maybe I'll also do, like I mentioned before on another tutorial, I'll go more into keyframes. But what's great about this version of OpenShot is it allows you to do some pretty, in my opinion, pretty complex stuff, in my opinion, because if you were to have to do this manually to each keyframe and stuff, it's gonna take a while, okay? And then like, some of the effects and stuff it just makes it so much easier like the time or rotate um, animate any of these things it just saves a lot of time okay and so far that is a huge benefit that i see with OpenShot. they've really added more features that actually not only allows you to do very basic things but it allows you to do more i would say medium to even advanced video editing stuff just to make your videos look really good all without a lot of complexity, you know? And my favorite features so far are things like the transition features. They have a lot more um, than Kden Live. And it's all graphical, so you kind of know what it is. More effects, uh, I like the title transitions, and then all these little shortcuts like split kit and timeline. So what I'm seeing here is that all these additional features, they actually make your production uh, time a lot quicker and at the same time easier too okay and so yeah so those are some extra things that you can do extra features that just really like I said improves your workflow and it allows you to do more I would say more sophisticated stuff okay now for somebody who is a professional video editor this is probably not professional or advanced but for somebody who's just starting new or even somebody who's intermediate I think this will save them a lot of time and create some really cool looking videos so that's it for this particular episode. If you had any thoughts on this OpenShot tutorial, any type of video editors, including Kden Live, or even if it's Photoshop or Final Cut, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.